Did any of the coaches tell you to put on more weight, you know, in preparation for more carries this year or anything like that? Um, no, I just follow, followed the game plan and what um, the strength coaches wanted us to do. I just, this is my first offseason here, so I, I got to just really grind out during the offseason and try to get bigger. Have you gained weight? Yes, sir. How much, are you, how much have you gained? Two, 212. I was 205 during the season. How does working with Jay differ from, from Coach Ty? Um, it's a different perspective because Coach Wheatley, like, he had the perspective of a big back, and I'm not, I'm not a big back. So the, the things like the technique and things he was teaching me, I really couldn't get all the way because I couldn't like relate to him. But Coach Jay, he he doesn't play running back, but he's he's looking in, outside in, so he gives a different perspective. Of the game. So he's having you approach things differently yes, than sir. okay, more like a speed kind of outside guy. Yes, sir. Is Jay kind of learning on the job as well with the new position? No, Coach Jay. He hit the ground running. First day, he had meetings. I mean, he had meetings prepared, slideshows ready. It was just I was blown away by like, how ready he was. And, and but but I expected that uh, coach just just basically seeing him around with last year. I really didn't talk to him as much, but seeing that really blew me away. I think he ran a four six seven. They said forty. Yes, you, you look faster than that. Yes, sir. I just we it was six o'clock in the morning. And just running, and then he stopped the clock. So. You were first in a couple of those uh, with spring combine results. Yes, um, what, was that how encouraging was that to you? What, what did that mean to you guys in the room? Um, it was, again, it was just the competition level, the competition that you you had to perform, and I just feel like everybody in the room performed performed to their the best of best of their ability, and that just my my numbers just came out on top. It, everything was really close though. Chris, oh, I'm sorry. Looking back at the season you had last year and. You know, obviously you turned some heads. Anything surprised you? And then, and then I guess, based on everything that you did last year, what are you trying to? Is there any one thing? I mean, you mentioned the weight gain. Is there anything else like you're trying to improve? Um, <clears throat> overall, just knowledge of the game, like knowing fronts and and linebacker adjustments and safeties rolling down. Basically, last year I was just going out there. I, I had one job. Coach really just made sure I had one job. Because once you get two jobs and you got to check this, check that, it, it's, it gets crazy. So just make sure I'm, I'm ready for that next season. Did you surprise yourself at all last year? Um, no, most of, the, most of the plays that I ran was like, okay, run to this gap, and that's it. Like, like during protection, you have to look coast to coast and all that, so it's really hard. Chris, you said last year that you wanted to be the guy that they couldn't take off the field. You wanted to get every carry you could. Do you feel like you're closer to that? Um, yeah, six months later, five months later, whatever it's been. Yeah, I, I feel like in myself that I'm closer to that just, just based off the uh, hard work that I put in over the offseason. You said you're 212. Do you want to get heavier or do you want to stay around 212? Stay around 212, 210. Do you feel extra strength dropping a shoulder, running yeah. through guys? you feel like that's the yeah, so, part? For sure, especially in pass protection. Oh, really? So, you said last year that Jim Harbaugh was kind of get, had to get used to him. If you wore the wrong pair of shorts or something, you'd yeah. come down hard. On. Are you used to him now? Yeah, I um, I came I came a little late, like normal to my uh, normal. I get here like 5:20 on those 6 a.m. workouts. I got here a little late, so I just threw some shorts on. And then I ran out there. I said I got the wrong shorts on. Let me go back, just because I knew he was gonna say something to me. But you're getting used to his style yes, now. Yes, sir. Getting really used to it. What's surprising you the most about spring practice as you first go around there? Like four hours. Yeah, it's tough. Like seriously, you got to take care of your body. It's not. Fergus says it's not what you do here, it's what you do when you're outside of here, like getting good rest and foam rolling, stretching, getting a hot tub, cold tub, all that. So I make sure I, I, I stick to that. What have you seen from Kareem so far? Um, I, Kareem, he's one of my best friends. I, uh, he, I just, I stay on him. Every time, I'm, every time I see him, I ask him, hey, what are you doing this? What are you doing that? Just to make sure, make sure I know where his head's at and make sure that he's, he's all into what I'm all into. Is he playing pretty well? Yes, sir, for sure. What's he doing well? Um, he's, starting, he's starting to get it. He's starting to understand the, the concepts. Because cause when we all got here, especially as freshmen, he's like, all right, this is just like high school. Just We're going to get the ball and go. Just just be you. But it's, it's way more than that. Being able to know what's going on helps you a lot. How much do you think about you know that, that possibility of you know you and Kareem 1-2 one, one, could be a you know, pretty potent duo? Um, I like it, but... Everybody in the room is, is there's so much competition in the room that that you you, you don't know who's gonna be up. It's the next man up. Or as soon as somebody goes down, next man up. So no matter who it is, whatever whatever Coach Jay wants to roll with, 
that that's, that's, that's his own choice. What's Khalid look like? Khalid Bougie. Spring, yeah. yeah. They look awesome. They look awesome. But again, the um, competition just makes everybody go a little harder. How about the line in front of you? What have you seen from those guys? Great. They, um, again, competition. Competition in the room. Having the uh, younger guys come in, like Jareem and them, they, they kind of um, bring the competition level up. Are you able to run the ball on this defense? Huh? Are you able to run the ball on this defense at your point? Uh, it's Don Brown's defense. So yeah. Don Brown. Everybody, somebody's going that way, somebody's going that way. So we're, we're getting it. We're getting better every day. How different is uh, Coach Jay Harbaugh's style, I guess, than Coach Wheatley's style? Um, it, it, I think it favors towards the, the um, smaller backs more just because he, he knows where he outside looking in. He Coach Wheatley was a bigger back, so he knew what bigger backs did. So. That, that's what I like most. Helping you? Yes, sir. A few more for Chris, please. Did you like how, I mean, when, when Ty left, they, you know, they opted to stick with someone in-house rather than go out and get someone else? Did that help at all? Does it help being familiar with? Um, yeah, familiar with the offense because I feel like if um, Coach, Coach Jay, he, he's, he's really on top of this stuff. So he, it's like, it's like a running back coach never left for him. It's just he jumped right in and, on board with everything he was doing. You got pretty close with Wheelie. Was there adjustment there at all after he left? Was it tough? Yeah, I, I talked to him a lot, and he just he just tells me like his side, just like we just have a lot of talks and stuff on the call. You still talk to him a lot? Yes, sir. Oh, like, like once a week or? Like maybe every other day. Oh, really? Still? Yeah, just I'll send him like clips of stuff that I couldn't do last year just to be like, hey, coach, I'm getting better, you know?